Hey guys and gals, welcome back to The Binger. Friends is the TV show that just keeps on giving. It was popular when it was still in production, but it's just as a decade later. The comedy had all it takes to be a hit, from the emotional connection to its characters to popular phrases like, We were on a break! And, Hey, how you doing? Not to mention that it also made Hollywood stars out of its cast. While there's plenty we could say about the main gang, we're here to talk about one actress in particular. The one, or should we say two, that's played Emma. Let's get started! In order to get to the meaty center, let's start at the very beginning and get a little backstory here. Emma was the love child of Ross and Rachel after their one night of passion post-breakup turned into a baby. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Emma holds the distinction of being the first baby to join the gang after Ross's son Ben. Rachel found out she was pregnant right around the time Monica and Chandler were getting hitched and welcomes the little cutie a few months later. The taunts could often be found in some of the most hilarious scenes, including the one with Baby Got Back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Honestly, who hasn't tried to sing their kid to sleep using that song? It started off a worldwide trend that's still going on. Baby Emma is a pretty big deal, marking a new phase in Rachel's life as she juggles work and life as a single parent with the help of Ross. Ultimately, it's little Emma that helps pull the pair back together again because they never really stopped loving each other in the first place. In show business, there's a well-known phrase, never work with children or animals. Why? Well, they're likely to play up and might poop on you. We wish we were exaggerating, but we're not. In the case of Emma, producers called on two identical twin sisters to play the part. Noelle and Callie Sheldon were on one of the biggest shows in the world when they were mere babes in arms. Isn't that something cool to tell the grandkids? This meant the two actresses could split the duties so neither one of the babies was put under too much pressure. Plus, kids are prone to being grumpy and not playing ball during certain scenes, so presumably they could swap out one for another if they needed to. Have you ever tried to get a 10-month-old to understand the prospect of shooting a scene? Yeah, us neither, but we hear it's incredibly difficult and results in a lot of tears and tantrum. <laughs> Okay, let's be real. Noelle and Callie were so small, they don't remember anything from the set at all, but their mom does. Gretchen Carpenter told Bustle that the entire cast and crew were really, really nice to her daughters, treating them like little princesses. She's got the photos to prove it too. In 2019, the 17-year-old actresses shared some throwback snaps to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the show, and fans ate them up. The rare behind-the-scenes photos showed Jennifer Aniston sweetly smiling at the camera while holding one of the babies in her arms. Another has Jennifer, Courtney, and Lisa huddled around one of the twins on set. Judging by the look of everything around them and the balloons in the background, this was probably taken when filming Emma's birthday episode. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever did see in your life? These candid shots are incredible mementos for anyone to have. All we get is sepia-toned photos of us naked in the kitchen sink. Thanks, Mom! When the girls were old enough to understand that they'd had a major part to play in one of the biggest sitcoms ever, they wanted to see it. It's only natural that they wanted to look back on their achievements and see themselves with Hollywood royalty, right? Despite most of the show being fairly PG, the twins weren't allowed to watch it until they were 13 years old. Their mom allowed them to watch certain clips, but when it came to viewing the series from start to finish, it was a big no. This must have been frustrating as a lot of their friends had already started watching watching it from an early age. There are some moments on the show that are definitely a little risque, so perhaps it was a wise parenting decision. Remember the time Ross saw Monica and Chandler doing it through the window? Or when they were at it like rabbits trying to conceive a kid of their own? Yeah, there are some things that kids don't need to see. 
Many child actors land a part on a big show and continue to work ceaselessly. In some cases, it really works out, like Riverdale's Cole Sprouse and his twin Dylan. Those guys have gone on to become well-adjusted young men with great careers in front of them. Some other child actors haven't been so lucky. We're looking at you, Lindsay Lohan. Noelle and Callie have dipped in and out of show business since their part in Friends, but it's not their main goal. Their parents insisted that they go on to have a normal education at a normal high school. Given the facts they were babies when they shot the series, they could blend in easily without being recognized like other stars. Oh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Binger. Don't forget to turn on notifications because we all know how pesky YouTube can be sometimes. If you're on mobile, you can turn on notifications through YouTube settings. These young ladies may not want to get to George Clooney levels of fame, but that doesn't mean they aren't ambitious. Acting is a hobby, but they take their education extremely seriously. Callie plans to go to UCLA to get a degree in biochemistry. That's impressive and something Ross Geller himself would be proud of. It's not dinosaurs, but it's certainly up there with the best, and that's just the beginning. After that, she wants to go on to find a cure for cancer and eventually wind up as a chemist. You go, girl! Go get those dreams and help save the world, baby Emma. In her spare time, she wants to campaign for more girls to play football and squeeze out a novel when she can. It sounds like she's going to be busy for the foreseeable future. Noelle, on the other hand, has a slightly more laid-back approach to her future. Apparently, she wants to get a job as a barista after she leaves high school, just like her on-screen mama, Rachel. As you may have figured out from their life goals, these two identical twins couldn't be more different personality-wise. Callie is big into sports and can often be found playing basketball or softball. She's the athletic one. When she's not scoring big on the field, she loves to draw and enjoys writing her own stories. Oh, and of course, she loves science. Noelle likes cooking up a storm in the kitchen and trying to create new recipes to tantalize the taste buds of her friends. She's big into socializing, as previously mentioned, the two still audition for parts every now and then, just to keep a toe in the water. We can't say we blame them. It's pizza paper delivery route, doesn't it? But they don't let their time on friends overinflate their egos. For these teens, trying out for roles isn't a big deal. If they get the part, that's cool, but if they don't, that's fine too. As Friends was their biggest gig, they can't always call on that to prove their acting talents. They have booked several different things over the years, but they've always made sure it stays a positive, stress-free experience for them. It's easy to see that these bright young women are going about everything in the right way, refusing to let acting be the only thing they look to. Instead, they've armed themselves with a variety variety of different hobbies and interests, so performing can still be a fun thing to do. So many child actors end up buckling under the pressure and ultimately hating acting altogether, so they've clearly gone down the route that is right for them. Callie has previously stated that they're both hyper-aware of the competition in the industry and don't set themselves up for disappointment. Instead, they look forward to seeing who lands the role and what they do with it. Isn't that sweet? Imagine landing the opportunity to work super closely with someone like Jennifer Aniston, only to never remember it. It's enough to bring tears to your eyes, isn't it? Noelle and Callie opted to appreciate their luck and are huge fans of their on-screen mom. Aniston became a huge star thanks to her part in the series, going on to become one of Hollywood's richest and most successful women. After the show wrapped, she starred in a ton of movies like Just Go With It, Along Came Polly, and more. She's a big deal. Growing up, Noelle and Callie watched her movies and realized how cool it was that they got to interact with Jenna's kids. Not everyone can say that, can they? Like every self-respecting Friends fan, Callie has a favorite moment from the series. It's not the one with PERVERT or anything to do with Janice's manacle laugh. Hey, you guys. <laughs> It's one that her sister features in. According to her, the one with the home study is the pick of the crop. Later in the episode, Rachel tells Ross that he can't ever take Emma to play on the swings of the park like normal dads do. Why? Because when she was a kid, she had a bad incident that ended up with her losing some of her precious hair. We all know how much Rachel loves her locks, her famous do had people going into salons and asking for the Rachel. When the parents do take Emma to the park, baby Noelle 
starts laughing and is looking into the camera from her swing. It's a cute little moment that was impromptu and sweet. Most of us are doomed to look through old photo albums. Can't we have some footage too, dang it? After finishing their stint on Friends, the sisters took two years off before appearing in the movie Novel Romance. In it, they also played a little girl called Emma, so apparently the name stuck. A little while later, and they found themselves starring in other features too, such as the TV series Life. Then they took a little more time off, waiting a few years before starring in a couple of short films around 2012. Their biggest job in recent years have been as the creepy twins in Jordan Peele's horror movie Us. That's certainly a leap from the sweet little girls we were used to seeing on screen, isn't it? They made an impression on moviegoers and probably got a little extra cash to take to college. What do you think? Are you surprised to see where these two are now? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you in another video.